everybody, Claire here. It is really lovely to be here with you. I wonder how your week has been. I know for some people it's been your first ever week at school. Oh, wow! I hope you had a really great time. I hope you enjoyed um, seeing your teacher and making some new friends. It's really great news that lots of your parents have been registering you, so I've got a really long list of names for the shout out again. If I don't call out your name today, Give your parents a nudge and say, register me, and then Claire can call my name out. Right, anyway, here we go. Let's see who's there today. <gasps> Louisa, hello. Holly, hi. Gregory, Billy, Hazel, Freddie, Simon, hello. Layla, hello. Luca, hi there. Isaiah and Hope, hi. And Leo, hello. It's lovely to have you all with us. Right, so last week we talked about God as a shield and how that shield of God's protection goes with us wherever we go, even if that is to a new school. Today we've got a new thing to think about. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm going to give you some clues and see if you can guess. So all of these objects that I'm going to show you do the thing we're talking about today. Can you work out what it is? So what have I got? I've got... A lemon. Hmm. A lemon. What does a lemon do? I've got one of John's old shoes. Hmm. What does a lemon and one of John's old shoes do? Have you got it? Do you need some more clues? What else have I got? I've also got a garlic. Hmm. Do you know what a garlic does? And whatever a garlic does, toothpaste does this thing too. Are we getting there? So what does garlic, toothpaste, lemons and John's old shoe all do? I've got two more clues for you and then I'll tell you if you've not got it. Hand gel also does this and so does this lavender here in my flowers. Have you got it now? Mm-hmm. They all smell, don't they? So the lavender, oh, it smells gorgeous, especially if you squeeze it. And the bees go all over it because it smells so beautifully. And just right now, the seeds are, are ready to sort of pick. And if you pick them and dry them, you can have that lovely lavender smell all the time. So have a look out for some of those. If you want some, I've got some in my garden. So you could email me and let me know and I could send you some lavender to make a nice little lavender smelly thing. Hand gel. How does yours smell? Mine smells like the hospital. Hmm. Um, John's old shoes, well, it's not a good smell. I'm sure you've got some shoes in your house that are a bit like that. Garlic, do you like it or not? Hmm, I quite like it, but some people think not. Lemons, they have a lovely, fresh smell, don't they? I wonder if you like it. And toothpaste, do you like the smell of toothpaste? minty. I do, because it's always a smell of early in the morning, start of the day, and last thing at night time to snuggle in bed. So I quite like the smell of toothpaste. So today we're going to think about God and smell. Hmm, haven't thought about that before, have we? It's also what big church are thinking about. So we're up there with the big ones. But before we do, I thought we would have a song. And I thought we might do one of James's songs that he plays for us. So this is one of my favourites that James plays for us. It's As For Me And My House. And James plays the mandolin, which makes a lovely little sound. I will get it on going on my thing over here. So make space, ready to do the actions. And you can pretend to play your mandolin. One, two, uh, one, two, three, four. Here we go. As for me and my house, as for me and my family, as for me and my children, we will praise the Lord. As for me and my house, as for me and my family, as for me and my children, we will praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, To do things properly Oh yes Read God's word every day And then we'll try and pray Although we get it wrong We will still carry on Make Jesus number one In this place Ready to shout In this place We're gonna say grace 
As for me and my house, as for me and my family, as for me and my children, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, as for me and my family, as for me and my children, we will serve the Lord in this family. We're going to do things properly. Oh yes, read God's word every day. And then we'll try to pray. Although we get it wrong, oh, oh, we, we will still carry on. Make Jesus number one in this place. Get to shout. In this place, we're going to say grace. As for me and my house. As for me and my family. As for me and my children. We will serve the Lord. Got a bit of dance time now. So fan space, groovy moves, give us a twirl, give us a jig. We can do some kicks. Again, as for me and my house, as for me and my family, as for me and my children, we will serve the Lord. Last time, as for me and my house. As for me and my family, as for me and my children, we will serve the Lord. Woo! Thank you, James. I enjoyed that one. What's all this then about smells and God? Mm. Well, Big Church today are reading. Big Church are looking at the book of 2 Corinthians which is a letter in the Bible, it's near the back of the Bible, that Paul wrote to a church in um, Corinth a long time ago. And this is the bit he says about smells. Are you listening carefully? But thanks be to God who always leads us into victory through Christ. That sounds good, doesn't it? We're gonna win this battle. God uses us to spread his knowledge everywhere like a sweet, smelling perfume. Mm. Our offering to God is this, we, that's us, are the sweet smell of Christ among those who are being saved and among those who are being lost. Ooh. So let's just read that again. God uses us, me and you, to spread his knowledge everywhere like a sweet smelling perfume. Our offering to God is this, we are the sweet smell of Christ among those who are being saved and those who are being lost. Wow, we've got to be a sweet smell. So, not a dirty one like this old shoe, oh no. We've got to smell clean like people whose sins are forgiven because Jesus Christ loves us. Now I was thinking about things that smell sweet. I've got some perfume, here it is, and it smells really gorgeous. So I'm just going to spray a bit round. I wish you could smell it. And this perfume is called Happy. And it was given to me at a time in my life where I was not very happy. I was really sad. And a friend knew that I was really sad because things were not going very well for me. And um, he sent me a bottle of this perfume and it said on the packet, I know you're not feeling this, but you could at least smell it. You could smell happy. Oh. And that's a little bit like our story today. We need to go out there and be the smell of happy or the smell of Jesus. Now, it tells us another thing about what it's like to be the smell of Jesus in another letter that Paul wrote to the Ephesians and this is what he said there live a life of love love other people as Christ loved us Christ gave himself for us a sweet smelling offering and sacrifice to God so we can be this sweet smell wherever we go for God if we're showing the love that God shows us and that Jesus shows people in that way, we can move about and leave a little whiff of God's love wherever we go. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? A whiff of God's love wherever we go. Now, have you noticed that about smells? Smells remind you of a place, don't they? Have you noticed that? 
So sometimes you might get a whiff of fish and chips. Ooh. And that might remind you, well it reminds me of Saturdays at home, we have fish and chips on a Saturday. Or it might remind you of going to the beach or the seaside where you've had some fish and chips. Sometimes you get a whiff of a perfume and it reminds you of a person, doesn't it? If they, if they have that sort of perfume on them. I've got here a bag and this is a bag of scarves that my granny used to wear. Here they are. I don't wear them because they're not really my thing, but I've not been able to get rid of them. And one of the reasons is they still smell like my grandma or my nan. Oh, and when I smell them, I'm taken right back to being with her and her lovely big hug and the fun that we used to have together. So smells can really trigger a memory. You smell it and you think, oh yeah, I'm right back there. So that salty smell on the beach, have you got that? Or that smell of grass first thing in the morning, if you've ever been camping and you get that smell of grass in the morning. Oh yes, I'm camping. So what about school at the moment? What does that smell like? I bet you it smells of hand gel, doesn't it? That's a bit strange. But soon we'll be able to go, oh, reminds me of school. I wonder. So smells remind us of somewhere and they can take us back to that place. So our job is to remind people about Jesus to take them to that happy place where they know that they are loved. Mm. How can we do that then? Well, one way we can do that is we can pray because if we don't feel that we can do it, the Holy Spirit can do all sorts of stuff if we pray and ask it. When I was at university, I um, met a nun. She was the proper nun, you know, wore all the outfit, black and white. And she used to travel on a bus that went past where I cycled. Almost every day I'd see her sitting on this bus. And then one day I actually bumped into her and we had a chat. And we were talking, I said, oh, I see you on the bus, you know, nearly every day. And she goes, oh yes, she said, that's my blessing bus. And I said, oh, your blessing bus? seemed a bit strange. She says, yes, yes, I get on that bus every day and I do the whole circuit of the bus. So she, the bus goes round in a big circle and she sits on it all the way around and then she gets off in the same place that she got on. And I said, oh, right. She goes, yes, I get on the bus, she said, and I sit there and I look around me and I throw out God's blessing prayers on people that I see. She said, and lots of times as I'm praying for somebody, even though they don't know she's praying for them, she sees their face change and she sees the sadness or lift and a smile come or something. I said, I love it. She said, I love sitting on the bus and going around and blessing people as I go. Wow, wouldn't you love to do that? So next time you're out on a walk and you pass somebody who looks a little bit sad, you could send a prayer. You could go, Holy Spirit, I pray for that person. Please make them happy. Please hear their cry. Please heal their pain. Bless them, God. Or maybe at school in the playground, somebody looks a bit sad, or your teacher looks a bit frazzled. You could send a prayer of blessing, just quietly and quickly, a little arrow prayer of blessing. And that could be a way that you take Jesus' smell out and about. And you might even see the change on people's faces. Just like when people smell something sweet and you can see that thing changes them and makes them happy. So that's our challenge this week. Ruth's crew, out you go and be the sweet smell of Jesus wherever you go. Do that with your smile. I know you're good at doing that. Do that with showing love to other people, being kind to them. And also do it with the power of the Holy Spirit by praying for people and watching to see if the Holy Spirit changes the situation. And if it does, if you, if you pray for somebody who looks sad and you see them smile and they don't even know you're praying for them, let me know because I'd love to know that you're doing that and it's working, that the Holy Spirit is listening to you. That would be just brilliant to hear. And I'm sure it can happen because you're good at that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Right, it is time for another song. We're going to have one from Holiday Club. It's Shine, which is a bit similar to this being the smell of everything, shining out God's love wherever we go. It's got actions and they're big actions. You need to be able to jump about. So find a space and I'll play the song now. Here it is. Shine from the inside 
inside out that the world will see you live in me shine from the inside out that the world will see you live in me you know me you love me you feel me so send me to shine from the inside out that the world will see Inside out, that the world will see you live in me. Shine from the inside out, that the world will see. From the inside out, that the world will see you live in me. Know me, love me, feel me, send 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 me to shine. From the inside out, that the world will see. Crew for our craft this week, you can print off a copy of this sheet. It says, Leave a whiff of God's love wherever you go, and then it's got heart shaped um, balloons or whiffs on it to colour in. Now, you could just colour it in with your pencils, you might even have some of those um, felt tip pens that you can scratch and sniff if you're really lucky. But I thought we might also try and make it smell using some things you might have at home. So if you've got any fruit, lemons or satsumas, one way we could do it is to take um, the fruit, the lemon or the satsuma, and squeeze out some of the juice, like that, and then paint with the juice. So you might want to, first of all, let's say we're gonna do this one here. So I might color it, first of all, this is just with a um, crayon, because the lemon juice won't colour it and then using a little paintbrush and my lemon juice I'm going to paint that heart and then I'm going to leave it to dry and that one hopefully if I get close to it even when it's dried oh yes will sniff of lemons right another thing you could use if you've got them at home are spices Okay, so you could try some spices. We've got some ground ginger, comes in little pots like that, and it's a sort of yellow powder. Or cinnamon um, is a nice orange powder. Both of those have a lovely smell. You're, you might have other spices at home. You could use perhaps nutmeg, which is brown, or paprika, which is quite red. Or turmeric, which is also very yellow. Um, avoid chilli, because if you get that in your eyes, you'll really know about it. It stings. But have a go with other spices that people um, will let you use. You only need a tiny bit. What to do with that one is to um, put some Pritt stick or glue, first of all, onto the heart like that. I'm going to do two of mine in one go here. And then to shake or sprinkle the um, thing over the heart, a little bit like you might do with glitter on a Christmas card. Here we go. You might want to use a dry brush just to, you know, pat that down and make sure it's had a chance to stick. Or the other thing, that colours it quite nicely too, I'm hoping. 
The other thing you could do to make sure it's stuck is put a piece of um, tissue paper over the top and just pat it like that. Okay, and then you have to shake off any excess, just like you would. There we go. So, oh yes, that smells absolutely gorgeous. Oh, fab. And one other thing you could try if you wanted to, if you've got some garlic and you like the smell of garlic, you might not, you could take some garlic, slice one of the cloves in half with a sharp knife. You might want to ask mum or dad to help with that bit. And then using the um, side of the garlic, you can just rub with the garlic. Okay. And it just um, moistens the heart, but oh, it leaves a strong smell of garlic. So you could try anything else you've got at home. Maybe an onion would work as well. Um, and see if you can decorate your hearts with different whiffs, different smells. And that would be a smelly way to remember this week's Ruth's crew. Have some fun. And I'd love to see any pictures um, of what you've done. For our prayers, Ruth's crew, I thought we would just pray and ask God to help us be this sweet smell. And it might be nice if you had something that smelt nice that you were holding while you were praying. So I don't know what you've got at home. It could be a bit of hand gel. You could just put a bit on your hands. That's if you like that smell. It could be a little bit of perfume. If you ask mum nicely if she's got some. Or it could be a piece of fruit, a lemon, or, or even a satsuma. They smell quite nice. Or maybe some toothpaste. You could just open the toothpaste and that smells quite nice. So find something that smells nice and bring it back. You can pause this if you need to. And then we will pray with our sweet smell. Quick. Done it? Right. Okay. Here we go. So holding whatever it is we've found that smells nice. And closing our eyes and sniffing in the smell. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of smell of smells that give us memories of places and people, of smells that bring a smile to our face. We thank you for smell. We thank you for this idea, this picture in the Bible of being Jesus as a sweet smell in the world. Wait, may we be your perfume bottles this week, Lord. May we go out into the world and show your love to everyone we meet. May we send out prayers in the power of the Holy Spirit that change people's days and give them a whiff of you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Right, that's it for today, folks, for Ruth's crew. I hopefully will see you next week. Bye.